Hello and welcome to Daily Red video. In this video, we will see upgrading a MacBook Pro uh, with a little bit powerful configuration. And for that, I have ordered a few products in Amazon and uh, here they are. So the first thing is uh, Samsung uh, SSD. Uh, right now, you can find a better uh, SSD with a little bit uh, upgraded speed in Amazon. I have also added the link of all these products in the description of this video. And you need to have a lot of patience to complete this upgrade. Um, so I'll be uh, uh, giving you a little walkthrough uh, through this entire video with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to upgrade this uh, MacBook Pro with this PSD configuration successfully. So the first thing is the Samsung SSD Pro, which I have found it cheaper at Amazon uh, with various discount offers. And the second one is the Caddy, which co comes around less than $20. Um, this uh, you can uh, this will be use useful to replace your existing super drive and uh, put a secondary hard disk drive in it. And then third uh, one is the super slim USB 2.0 slot. Uh, it's an adapter uh, which will be holding your uh, super drive. Once you remove that from your MacBook Pro, you can put that it, uh, inside this drive to use it as a secondary drive whenever you wanted it. So here, uh, this is the caddy, uh, which comes with few screws and uh, the screwdriver. And then uh, the Western Digital one terabyte hard drive, which I'm going to use it in uh, this caddy. Uh, to uh, use it as a secondary drive inside this MacBook Pro. So by default, you know, all the screws are loosened up. Uh, if there is any, uh, if you find any uh, hiccups in uh, putting the hard disk drive inside, uh, you can just adjust the screws to loosen it up and uh, later you can, uh, you know, tighten them uh, once you put the hard disk drive inside. So just verify uh, whether the screws are loosened up. So this is the place where you will be putting your hard disk drive. So carefully um, remove that plastic uh, panel. And you can also see the instructions, step by step instruction on how to put your uh, hard, secondary hard disk drive uh, into this caddy. Here I'm using a, a Western Digital one terabyte uh, hard disk drive. So gently press it uh, inside the slot. It should fit you know, smoothly without any problem. So don't uh, rush it up. Uh, it may damage the screws or pins uh, in the hard disk drive. So that will be a real trouble which the hard disk may go unusable. So once you fixed it and you find uh, it is fixed properly, just tighten the screw uh, at uh, both ends. You will find two screws normally. So tighten these two screws. And remember, uh, you have to keep uh, uh, you have to keep this uh, MacBook Pro and the entire process should be done on a clean desk, maybe a white desk or uh, some uh, clear uh, background desk so that you will not miss any screws, uh, which is very important. You know, once we entered into the MacBook Pro, It'll be uh, very difficult to um, uh, not, you know, to, to carefully handle and uh, to not lose any screws. So here I have successfully placed that in the caddy. And it's time to open the MacBook Pro to begin the upgrade. Also, you know, in the meantime, uh, I just like to point out uh, if you uh, if your country uh, Apple Store or uh, if you can find MD 101 or 102 in your country, uh, then it is highly recommended uh, to consider purchasing that. If you want to upgrade the MacBook Pro with uh, some uh, BST configuration like this one, uh, then you can uh, straight away go for MD 101 because the latest MacBook Pro 13 inch and 15 inch models are not allowing updates, uh, which means you cannot upgrade the RAM, you cannot upgrade the hard disk drive. Uh, in future if you want to so uh, also by default they comes with uh, some spectacular configuration uh, still if you want to upgrade it further it is not possible uh, to do it by you so whatever you purchase uh, from apple store uh, on the day one uh, it'll remain same as it comes with you know a single board everything is merged in a single board so here you can see that my macbook pro already have upgraded with uh, corsair vengeance 16 gigabytes of ram This one I bought uh, it from Amazon and um, here we uh, can unscrew the Hitachi R disk drive which came with the MacBook Pro by default. Carefully unscrew them and uh, make sure 
uh, you know these hard disk screws uh, won't just uh, you know you cannot find it easily uh, outside so you have to carefully place them uh, you know with the uh, with, with the without in some box or uh, with some white cloth or somewhere easily you can uh, find them again okay so carefully uh, handle the screws so here um, remove that uh, hard disk from the cable this may look a little bit tighter uh, so you have to give a little bit pressure uh, to completely remove that from uh, the hard disk and uh, you can also get this plastic sticker and fix it on the solid state drive so that it will be easy to pull the hard disk outside uh, the ssd outside uh, if you want to further upgrade it and here the, the one i have right now uh, in my hand is a 512 gb ssd so probably i won't be in need of uh, updating the uh, ssd in future but if you want to, you know, in case if you want to upgrade it to uh, anything like more than this come in future, like one terabyte of uh, SSD, then you can always do it. So uh, this sticker, carefully place this sticker and um, gently press the uh, connector, which comes from the MacBook Pro, the black wire and uh, place it in its position and press gently. Then put back that uh, hard disk holder that plastic uh, hard disk holder and uh, tighten the screw there screw to uh, make sure it uh, fits firmly uh, inside your MacBook Pro and the next step you should do is the power adapter uh, you can also, you know, you, you should have uh, done this. Uh, I should have done this before uh, doing the dis disconnecting the hard disk drive from the uh, MacBook Pro. Um, so I forgot to do that, but I always recommend to do this step uh, initially. Uh, just remove the battery, uh, the connector which connects the battery and uh, uh, your logic board. So carefully remove that and um, put some paper or uh, some plastic bag uh, in it. I, here I use the plastic bag. So simply uh, disconnect it. Uh, the power, disconnect the power supply uh, that will go from the battery to the uh, logic board. The next one is um, the connector between uh, the caddy that is the super drive to the logic board. So you have to be very careful and if, if there is any hiccups in uh, removing the uh, uh, plug or adapter or any switches you have to be uh, very uh, you know gently remove that you have to be very careful. And do uh, the patience, you know, it requires a lot of patience. So uh, each and every component inside are very sensitive. So you have to handle it with care. All right. So here you can see so far we have removed three connectors. And this is the fourth one, which connects the super drive and the logic board. There are a few more connectors which we are uh, yet to remove. So before that, unscrew. Uh, the one you will find at the uh, top left corner. So this is the first screw that connects uh, Super Drive and uh, the MacBook Pro, and the second screw located near the fan. And the third screw located, you know, very deep uh, behind the hard, uh, the super drive, the super drive. Uh, so you have to be very careful in locating that uh, screw. So once you have removed the screw, you will find it very easy to pull that uh, super drive back from uh, the MacBook Pro. Okay, you can simply lift it up and uh, again do everything with patience so uh, the left top corner wires are very sensitive okay they are strong but they are very sensitive too so uh, you have to uh, you shouldn't rush it up anything uh, while taking out the uh, super drive out from the uh, macbook pro and then this uh, connector is very important this will help you to connect the caddy uh, give power supply and the data transfer ability uh, the data transfer uh, cable uh, to your caddy which uh, connected with one terabyte of uh, Western Digital Superdrive. 
so place that uh, adapter here again gently press the connector the hard disk should go downwards so make sure you um, put the d connector uh, in such a way and the next one is uh, the screw holder that you have removed from the uh, super drive so put them in uh, the in the uh, caddy and uh, slowly carefully uh, put that back in um, at the macbook pro inside the macbook pro As the power supply already uh, disconnected from the battery to the logic board, you don't have to worry about any uh, short circuit or malfunction. And make sure you have done that uh, already. So slowly place that uh, caddy uh, inside the MacBook Pro. It will take a little time for some people, so you don't have to rush it up at any point. I don't want to do much editing in this video so uh, if you are you know not ready to wait for a long time you can just forward this to a few um, few minutes or seconds forward and um, check the next step but I just want to you know keep it as it is and um, provide a better clarity about uh, how uh, I have assembled this MacBook Pro with uh, some uh, beastie config powerful configuration Yeah, it's fixed perfectly. And then it's time to put the first screw. Tighten the first screw. Alright, we have fixed the power supply and data cable uh, in it. So the three cables, uh, four uh, adapter connectors uh, fixed successfully. I can slowly press them, you know, uh, to check everything is fixed in uh, perfect place. So the screws again, um, carefully place the screws next to your MacBook Pro so that you won't miss any. And here I have uh, put all the screws back in its uh, place. And it's time to give power supply to the logic board. So the hard disk replaced with SSD, the super drive removed and uh, caddy uh, with one terabyte of uh, H HDD uh, in place. The MacBook Pro already has 16 gigabytes of RAM, so um, you don't have to find any. You know, you will not find any problem with the booting speed and everything. But the first boot normally takes a little time. I have clean installed uh, uh, OSX uh, Mavericks in this computer, so uh, it'll take little time. You know, as it is the first boot, uh, it'll obviously take little time. Um, to let you enter uh, into your desktop uh, because uh, there is a change in the uh, hardware, hardware configuration overall so the MacBook Pro will uh, make some necessary changes in the operating system according to that here we go with the Apple logo appears and the loading begins but after updating the OSX Yosemite you know I see uh, a very quick boot up uh, compared to Mavericks. Uh, with this upgraded co configuration, the same MacBook Pro boots up uh, pretty faster than uh, what I was getting in uh, Mac, Mac uh, OS X Mavericks. So this is the first login. Yes, we have uh, successfully installed um, the uh, one terabyte secondary storage hard drive and then um, uh, the ssd as a primary disk which is a five gigabytes so uh, you know before uh, 
uh, start using that uh, one terabyte uh, hard disk drive, you have to make sure that you have formatted uh, that drive. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, use it initially. So go to uh, Disk Utility and uh, do a format once. Disk format once, make it as a Disk OSX journal format. And then once it's completed, just try to reboot the uh, system once and log in again. You know, just for um, disk verification, you have to reboot it once. See here, you can see the process completed and you must be seeing the one terabyte west digital digital drive you can erase it you know with the uh, way uh, journal as i advised before so we have successfully uh, you know upgraded this macbook pro so if you are uh, using the same uh, model uh, macbook pro model you can consider this uh, same upgrade and uh, this, uh, this uh, MacBook Pro MD101 accepts uh, RAM uh, with a frequency set of 1600 MHz, which is quite a high frequency uh, to do video editing and, uh, you know, multiple uh, multitasking and everything will go very smoother uh, with this configuration. Feel free to uh, check out the description, you know, uh, you can um, uh, check out all the uh, products that I have used here in the description with Amazon links. and. Um, also, if you have any questions, uh, if you stuck up in any uh, step, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment box below. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Have a wonderful day.